Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another pro 1v1 match. Today... Oh. Got another dead drunk guy. Dead or drunk. We still to this day do not know who this guy is. Welcome to another pro 1v1 match. Today we're on a map called Blossoming Valley. I actually think, isn't there two of those guys on this map? There might be another one here. Up in the north we have the Green USA player, which is none other than OE Vivid. Very, very strong player. Voted probably... Maybe the second strongest player, only to Excal. And he's with the, uh, is he USA? Yeah, USA in the green. All the way down to the south, we have the pink player. Probably not seen too much on this channel, but actually he's a very, very good player. I'll tell you a little bit more about him in a second. He's playing with the pink, and I believe he is the GLA Vanilla. So, oh, no, wait, it's Tox. Yeah, it's Tox. We can see that from the tunnel. He's playing with the pink, and it's Satanic 1. Or is it supposed to say sat satanic -y? Whoa. That's kind of a major mistake. Just as I was saying, he's actually a pretty good player. That's kind of a bad mistake to be making. Actually damaged all of his workers. Uh, what did he press? Did he cancel it? Or can you detonate it? That's very strange, man. Don't know if he cancelled it. Or can you actually detonate it when it's only half built? Because it's a fake. Very, very strange. I don't think it should affect him all too much. As long as his first technical can still get something done. Vivid's Dozer here has gone for a crush, but not been able to get anything done, I don't think. And actually taking quite a bit of damage. If we just check here, in the middle, you do have dancing people, but maybe not another drunk slash dead person. Over on the right, we've got this ambulance coming in. It's not going to find anything over here apart from this one worker. I don't know if Vivid will go for that or not. Technical is now out. The problem is with that, even though it damaged the workers, which is not all too bad... The main thing is it delays your first unit from getting out, and by that time, a few more Vs and a few more missile defenders will be out, and that will severely uh, affect the game. Like that first technical, and whether it gets in or not, does it does affect the game a hell of a lot. Of course, you can still win, but if that hits, it gives you a big advantage. If if it does hit, if you kill a dozer, you kill a power plant, kill a war factory, whatever. Ambulance goes down, gives himself a uh, vet to technical and a grenade tech. Vivid is building up his numbers. So yeah, about Satanic, he's not uh, an expert player. He's about 20 expert players. In zero. Whoa. Okay, he's just redeemed himself. He's just killed two Vs with his TNT. <laughs> Vivid walking into the terrorist a little bit there. Probably not expecting it to be terrorists. Actually, probably just expecting it to be RPGs. Uh, but yeah, that, that delayed arms dealer. I think he's just redeemed himself. And he's made it back even. He could probably say he's even got an advantage. With this right side. Yeah, he's not an expert player, but Satanic, I believe, has won at least one or maybe a few tournaments where the experts were not involved. So he's probably like one of the next best. Uh, this was probably maybe six to eight months ago, something like that. Now, of course, you've got other people on the scene that are also very good, probably a lot better than Satanic, actually. Stars, SPL, Peace Lover, those, uh, those kind of people. Um, so yeah, might not be immediately next best, but he's, he's certainly very good having won a number of tournaments without the experts involved. Okay, this Stanley Cool not achieving so much was a tech RPG. Satanic a bit slow on his third expansion. I think these are things that you would not... Well, you, sorry, you would see differently in a, if this was an expert talk. You wouldn't obviously see that uh, exploding arms dealer. But also, you would see that third supply a little bit quicker, I think. You'd see the first first supply go go up when that first TNT happened. And that first TNT should have been actually a little bit quicker because that arms dealer should have been a little bit quicker. So yeah, that is about a minute or a minute and 20 late, I think. Search and Maybe even a minute and 40 late. Search and destroy is now already up and Vivid has a decent amount of these. Satanic's gonna need to kill some Vs here. At least like three of these Vs are gonna have to die in the next few minutes because otherwise they can just storm across the map, outrange everything with this 20% extra range that the search and destroy gives. Uh, Satanic's actually choosing to go for a counter attack. Vivid seems to be on it. Good multitasking. He's looking there and he's also looking in his base. He's got a Crusader, nice unit mix. You'd expect nothing less from Vivid. He's tried to build a fire base, but those is actually stuck building it. But all of this attack here from Satanic is a complete waste. Oh, he doesn't even kill the weak V. 
So yeah, very big waste there. You've given Vivid loads and loads of XP. And Vivid will get 100 XP from every one of these Socks Tunnel kills now. Um, and there's no palace in sight. So it's actually looking pretty bad for Satanic. We said it almost goes down, but not quite. TNT actually hits the search and destroy. Did completely miss that, but that's a really big pickoff. Taking away that range actually gives him a fighting chance because the, that coming in now with the amount of units that Satanic has with the, with the search and destroy, pretty much impossible to stop that. Only only thing you'd be thinking is going for a counter attack, which he is going for a counter attack. Both of Vivid's doses are out in the open. Is Vivid going to have to go back here? One dozer has gone down. The last one is out in the open. Gets picked up by the Chinook. Is Vivid going to go back? Looks like no. Satanic chasing that, that weakened V. Lone V. And the whole base is getting a little bit wrecked. Vivid does decide to come back with his giant V army. Should be able to chase this away. Ideally, Satanic wants these technicals to survive. And ideally, he wants to be dropping down a palace sometime soon. Yeah, he's got a palace out, actually. Uh, 72%. So, yeah, it turned out to be a bit interesting. I, I like the way it's looked dangerous for Satanic a few times. But then he's always found a way to stop Vivid just storming across the map and just wiping him out by counterattacks, taking away that search and destroy. If you, if you can't take a head-on engagement with that, go around it and go for a counterattack. And he's doing that exactly again. He realizes the fight, and that is just probably an auto-loss. Especially with the micro of a player like Vivid. He's probably not going to be losing too many Vs, although he did walk into them terrorists in the beginning. Load of technicals now coming in. Let's just check. He doesn't have any RPGs in there. But I wonder if that war factor is able to be taken out. It's going to get sandwiched in a little bit here, I think. There's a lot of Vs. And a lot of missile defenders sacrificing some of his technicals there to kill the war factory. And he's actually going for the strat now. I think he's still got a super tech in there. Yeah. Does he? Not sure if he's still got the super tech in there or not. But he's going to chase these technicals now out of the base. Only about half of them remaining. I think some of the vetted ones and the, I think the super tech has gone down. I don't know. No, no, the super tech has gone. So Vivid Combat drops this building, moves in with all his Vs, wipes out all of the technicals, clears that building, but also his rangers then get cleared immediately by the Tox Tunnel. One of the main advantages of Tox there. Vivid now continues to press, but he's seen the buggies. There are already two buggies out and the Jarman. Going to be pretty tough for Vivid now, actually. He's in a tough situation. I think adva advantage Satanic now, especially if he gets buggy ammo. You should immediately, as soon as you start uh, uh, have completed a palace, immediately start a fake market. Not too convinced on a, on a building a real one straight away. Better to build the fake and manage your money better. Because a fake is only like, what, 600, 625 or 575, something like that. So very, very cheap. And then you can upgrade it later on and better manage your money. It still builds in the same time, but you can better manage your money. That's why people build fakes. There's the other guy. That guy's been run over by something. Probably by a Humvee. Probably a painful death if he's not already dead. Well, he can't be dead because he's actually moving. So he must be either asleep or drunk or both. Okay, one random MD can be annoying sometimes, especially if he's on the run. The bug is struggling to uh, deal with him. But Jean Mankell is now in the mix. Jean Mankell probably going to get closed down, though. You don't want him out in the open by himself. But he is supported by a lot of buggies. And I actually think this is looking very much like a satanic victory here. He's in a... Very good position, but as soon as... Uh, whoa, Pathfinder. As soon as the buggy ammo and the worker's shoes come out, he is going to be in a very, very favorable position. Vivid does have 4.5k, so he can uh, squeeze some more Vs out. But basically, one of the only ways of combating that is either you make an airfield and go for, like, vanilla raptors or uh, Comanches or an Aurora. Uh, he could also make Tomahawks, I suppose. Some people will say make Avengers, but Avengers are very expensive at $2,000. I 
and they still get wiped out very quick by buggies. You have to make a few, you have to make like four or five Avengers to block that amount, and still have them in the right formation. And if you're making four or five, that's like eight to ten k, which Vivid does not have. And if you just make like one or two, then they can still get picked off by Jean Michel and that. I suppose Jean Michel now is getting countered by the Pathfinders though. Okay, Vivid uh, got Rangers on the right hand side. Sorry, one Ranger on the right hand side. Satanic capturing this artillery platform. That's a really good defense and a really good position, you know. Vivid is now on the tow missile. And he's got a battle bus, uh, Satanic. I wonder if he's got his John Minkell in here, which is like a bit like Fargo style. Fargo basically popularized that. Balbus moves in. It's going to go down to the holder, I'm pretty sure. But two Vs have already gone down. Colonel Burton running around, but I don't think he can do anything there because uh, Jarman. Oh, Jarman's just evac. I think it was actually decent him being in there, you know? Because then he can't get sniped by the uh, by the Vs, but the Vs might just move in and outrange us now. Does he have Search and Destroy still? Yes, he does. A10 now moving in. Single A10. It could be a legendary hit. It could be legendary. Oh, Vivid. He's actually done it from the back one. Okay. Well, the end result is you still clear two tunnels. The Vs were right. Uh, sorry, the, the buggies were right there. But I suppose he probably would have still had fast enough reactions to go back inside of the tunnel. Another market and another market. Uh, worker shoes in play. I mean, if he gets worker shoes, just automatically wins the game, of course. You're familiar with this with this channel there's a few upgrades that just automatically when you get when you the game work your shoes is one of them <laughs> i was talking with people on the forums just recently about um or oh, actually i say recently a few months ago now probably a couple of months about the way that usa has supply lines upgrade you know that upgrade there where my mouse cursor is right now uh to increase the collection rate by 10 percent plus you get 10 percent from oils uh, GLA has a worker's shoes, but China doesn't have anything like that, and China is considerably weak in the later game. So I actually think in a potential balance patch that like Zezon is working on, I, I think it should be a consideration. Not, not a definite, but it should at least be worth a discussion for things like that. Maybe hackers do need do need a um, price reduction as well, which I think is already one of the changes. But I do think things like um, yeah, an additional upgrade for supply trucks or oils or something should be a consideration. You could say it's more of a mod then than a new ability. But yeah, just something to think about. Anyway, uh, Satanic has now two supplies established in the middle. He's still got this one, still got this one. So he's on four supplies, worker shoes, uh, a decent-ish number of markets, like the fourth one being built now, I think. Uh, Vivid has opted for an airfield instead of, like, Tomahawks. I mean, yeah, what do you make is Vivid? He's gone for vanilla raptors, big size style. Gets the battle bus down to the hole. Bit of a mistake there from Vivid, I think. Didn't need two Raptors, but who knew that one Vanilla Raptor sent a Battle Bus down to the hole? I did not. But I do now. <laughs> so the, the other the other Raptor, which is all, almost went down, by the way, should have should have hit one of the buggies. And if you were really good, should have split fired a buggy. So you could have killed two buggies without him. Okay, Vivid now with a massive attack. That's straight down the middle. Maybe a B-all... Uh, be all or end all? Is that the right saying? Move for Vivid. Big bold move that he pretty much has to make. He's clearing all the middle. And even if that means suicide in Vs, which doesn't look like too many have gone down so far, but this annoying defense that I said. Might be able to take down a V. Uh, needs one more shot. No, it's not going to get it. So yeah, I mean, even if you lose a few Vs, which it looks like Vivid hasn't, as long as you're gaining ground, because... It's really hard to gain ground against the Tox with tunnels everywhere. But Vivid has done a good job of pushing Pink back. All the way to this, like, thin line at the back. It almost looks like a Boyka base late game. Just needs a few stingers and it will be a Boyka base. Okay, Kindle Burton in action. But he is 
Got himself killed. Yeah, he's got himself killed. King Raptor comes in. Sorry, not King Raptor. Vanilla Raptor. That was a split fight there. Picking off the buggies. And Satanic looking a little bit weak at the minute, actually. How many drop zones have we got for Vivid? Looks like none. Always remember a, a tip that Rage mentioned on the forums while there's still money out on the map. Don't build your secondary eco because it's much more efficient to collect the money on the map rather than give it up to your opponent whilst you make the secondary eco. So it looks like Vivid is sticking by that philosophy or theory. One Raptor goes down, but a Battle Bus also goes down. Buggy's doing some damage to these Vs, but mostly the Vs are surviving. One went down, two went down. Th these Buggies is not doing enough work. The Micro is just not good enough on them, I don't think. Like, he lost like one or two Buggies. A tank comes in, kills the uh, Black Market down the bottom left. Yeah, the Buggies were a little bit too close. They should have had like two Buggies should have been shooting at one V. Two Buggies should have been shooting at another V. More, more Vs should have lost their life there. Um, is Satanic getting the bounty money? Does he have a CC? For Rebel Ambush, it looks like he doesn't have a CC. But is he getting the bounty money? I wasn't paying attention to that fully yet. I guess he's not. Which is a huge mistake if he has not. We've got two Pathfinders just chilling in the middle. As well as a load of missile defenders. Colonel Burton pressing forward as well. Buggy's come in from the right hand side now. Picking off MDs. Yeah, it's still a good position for Satanic, but it's a lot more dangerous than it was before. I don't think he should have lost his position as as easily. I mean, it's easy to say here as the observer, but um, yeah, not not enough buggy, not not enough buggy kills on, on the V's happened for my liking. But I suppose Vivid is handling it very well, isn't he? He's coming in with the Colonel Burtons. He's coming in with the uh, Vanilla Raptors, taking out the buggies. I suppose your best chance is when those Raptors are either dead or flying back to base. That's when your buggies need to be out doing something. Like you see now, he's given him time to go back and reload. He should have been... Once that Burton was dead... There's another guy. I knew there was more. Uh, when that Burton was dead, they should be out. And here now, he's targeting MDs. I think he should be focused more on these on, on these Vs. Should have maybe gone up this mountain. Something like that. Firebase now being built in the middle. Liking this battle bus usage. A nice little scan here would be good to take out the uh, Pathfinder. Vivid coming in for the kill on the battle bus. Looks like he's going to get it. But are the buggy shots here going to be better now? He does have all of the upgrades. So these Vs should go down pretty easily. The buggy's going a little bit too far forward though maybe. Thought they were going to die to the Raptors, but the Raptors actually fly over and hit the Battle Bus. Uh, two buggies basically lost for free there. It's a nice little setup, to be honest, from Vivid. Simple but effective. He's building himself a drop zone up in the top right. Is that the first drop zone he's building? I think it is. Satanic can still camp himself uh, to victory here. But... Just the buggies versus these Vs needs to go better. Maybe he needs a few quads mixed in here. Buggies and quads wreck everything that USA can make. Uh, have we seen Rebel Ambush? Did he just use it there and get run over? Or did I imagine that? Another Raptor's coming in again. These buggies are just really struggling, aren't they? And there's just so many Vs out. We've got some red missiles firing in here. They're doing insane damage. Buggy's coming in again, I think. Oh, yeah, 1v does go down this time. Yeah, the battle bus usage is good. Just maybe needs quads in this as well, or maybe like an extra battle bus. Okay, that's a good pick off. Another V picked off there for free. Unfortunately, there's a Pathfinder there, so that tunnel will never finish. Here comes the Vanilla Raptors. Weirdly, the bus didn't shoot back. And these Vanilla Raptors are getting <laughs> highly vetted now. Vet 3, Vet 2, there's like a fuel air bomb on the way, and an A-10. Yeah, looking pretty grim for Satanic now. A 
Like, I guess the radar van and the quad, that's just like insult to injury. Spectre gunship coming as well. Takes out two buildings without two markets. So there's two markets left over here, two markets left over there. He's getting the bounty money. Uh, arms dealer goes down there. Hmm, I think Vivid is too much in control now, to be honest. Going to be hard to dislodge him from this strong position, I think. Uh, saying that, he's wasted a vanilla raptor here, or has he? Is he, he going to suicide it? Suicides it for getting the back buggy. Don't think that was necessary because these Vs have come in and wrecked everything anyway. But yeah, Satan has lost everything now. Yeah, that's it, GG. Well, that was definitely winnable by you Satanic, even after the um, fumbled start where he like blew up his arms dealer and damaged some stuff. I think with just a few little changes, maybe like, like if that arms dealer wasn't cancelled, expand to his third a little bit quicker, and just with the buggies, just simply better targeting and better positioning with the buggies on the Vs. Make sure you're always chipping away at those Vs. Every time the Vs push, they have to pay for it. They have to pay with two or three V kills. Uh, especially when you've got all the upgrades of that like buggy ammo and the the AP rockets. And if you're scared about the vanilla raptors coming in, then just go in and out of your tunnels. Build a stinger site like uh, Boyka style, like I said. He had more money there, uh, but the kill death ratio was just too much in Vivid's favor. Uh, did like the unit mixing of Vivid, but and the MDs and the Pathfinders out on the map. And I did like Satanic's battle burst, but maybe there was just a lack of quads. Maybe he didn't need junk repair. Uh, maybe he could have got away with that for a while. Maybe instead of that, build a few quads in, in his army or maybe an extra battle bus. Maybe uh, he didn't get bounty money uh, soon enough. I don't know if he got it straight away. I'm going to guess not. And also, where was the rebel ambush? Pretty much the whole game. It was uh, pretty much unseen. Unless he was used on that V army and it got sniped straight away, which we might have missed. So yeah, let me know your comments down below. GG, well played. And I'll see you in the next one.